Dad! Stand back, will you please give me some room? Ships from Mongol. Come here, quick. Dale, take the controls. Here, have a look. It's a main ship, all right. It seems to be discharging a sort of dust that becomes invisible as it falls. We must destroy that ship. I'll drop down on it. Dock off. Radio the Earth. Utterly fantastic. Don't forget, Dr. Froman. Zarkov's knowledge of other planets is based on actual experience. Yes, but another message from them, sir. Listen to this. Just sighted a strange spaceship from another planet, which Zarkov believes has connection with Purple Death. Investigating, Flash Gordon. Only me could think of such a devilish scheme. Read it out slowly. Every particle of Ming's death dust must have a disastrous effect. Hold your course directly over the planet Earth. Ah, a rocket ship. We discovered the source of the Purple Death. We must destroy them. Shut off the death dust. Try and get above them. It's Zarkov's Earth ship. They're approaching rapidly. Careful, Flash, they're turning for an attack. We're in firing position, sir. This will burn them to a cinder. They missed us with the heat ray. But I think you scored a hit. Brace yourselves for another charge. Going down. I think he'll be pleased when he hears about this. Zarkov, let me have the controls. Well, I thought sure we were crashing. That's what I wanted the enemy to think. Their ray rifle crippled our rocket gun. We must have damaged the ship. They're heading back toward Mongol. Good. And they report to Ming that they knocked down Professor Zarkov's rocket ship. But Ming was in other ships to scatter that fiendish dust. And Eric, we have no defense against such an attack. Yes, I know. Our only chance is to get to Mongo. Find Prince Baron and solicit his aid. Zakov, radio the Earth. Report what's happened. Tell them what we're going to do. Yes, it's our only chance to save them. We're over our warrior. Prince Baron's kingdom. Oh, well, look, there's Prince Baron's palace. Stand by to land. Right among those trees. Ming's spies might be at the palace. If Ming even suspected that we were in Aboria, he wouldn't hesitate to destroy Prince Baron's entire kingdom. Even at the risk of killing his own daughter. Now Baron's wife. Flash! This Baron! Flash! Baron, I can't How see are you. Baron! Oh, oh, Baron! Dale! Hello, Baron. Oh, this is a happy day. Glad to see you. It's been a long time. I rushed from the palace as soon as your rocket ship was described. Well, receiving us with drawn bows. We must always be on guard against some trick of Ming's. Ming? And he is alive. 
Yes, and rules more ruthlessly than ever. And Dora, is she well? Yes, and very happy. Come on, see for yourselves when she returns from the hunt. Feels great to get in these clothes again, Ronald. Your old sword, Flash. I've kept it, hoping that someday I'd have a chance to hand it back to you. <laughs> Thank you, Ronald. Great blade. The banquet's on. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute, Ronald. Tell me, why did Baron go to all the trouble of having a banquet when he knows the necessity of our getting to Ming immediately? The banquet was already arranged in honor of Queen Freya of Phrygia. Phrygia? A frozen kingdom to the north of Mongo. You see, Queen Freya is here to seek Prince Baron's aid on a mission concerning me. The Majesty. I'm looking forward to meeting the Earthman, Flesh Gordon. Where is he? Shall we go? Your Majesty will pardon me. A prince of royalty hurries to meet him. Your Majesty, Queen Freya, may I present the Earthman, Flash Gordon? Your Majesty. Your aide and counselor, Count Coro. Well, shall we dine? Are you resting, Dale? destroying Professor Zarkov's rocket ship, sire. Are you sure? Yes, sire. It plunged toward the planet Earth completely out of control. Good. Very good. Then the Earth will still be ignorant as to the source of the Purple Death. That is all. And now, Jander, what brings you up from my laboratories? To ask your permission, sire, to perform a laboratory test upon these selected prisoners. Your Majesty, I demand to know why I and the thousands of others with me are held prisoners in your filthy concentration camps. You plotted with your queen, Freya, to refuse my demands. You meet the same fate as all those who oppose me. And now, Jander, what manner of test did you in mind that requires the living subjects for experimentation? In your laboratory, sire, I have perfected the death dust. Perfected? It, it is already capable of killing every living creature, of depopulating the universe. That's just it, sire. At present, it kills everything, everybody. Yes, go on. Wouldn't it be better, sire, if the Purple Death spared those millions of slaves to labor for you and killed only those with intelligence enough to oppose you? You will name your own reward if you can prove this to me. Tonight, sire. Tonight, in the power room, I assure you. I'll be there. You see, my friends, Ming has captured my General Lupi, and I vowed to spare nothing until he's rescued. I have an idea, Your Highness. While Zarkov and I are destroying Ming's power rooms, your men could rescue General Lupi. But if we should fail, and Ming discovers our plot... Why, he would destroy Arborea, even at the risk of killing his own daughter, Aura. To aid you, my friends, Baron and I will take that chance. But you won't have to if we all go dressed as Phrygians. Well, then he would attack Phrygia. No. His soldiers would freeze. Only we Phrygians possess the secret of enduring our country's extreme cold. An important reply from Captain Sudan, Your Highness. Captain Sudan is commander of Ming's palace guards. However, he is still loyal to me, and I have means of contacting him unknown to me. I will do all in my power to help your cause. General Luffy to be executed with other prisoners tonight. Faithfully, Captain Sudan. We make our final plans on the way. Dale, you stay here with Queen Freya. Final. Oh, a flash. Yes? This is Captain Roker. Captain Roker? I'll be 
please if you'd accept him as your aide and companion. He's one of my ablest officers. Thank you, Baron. I'm sure he is. I welcome this chance to help you. I remember that had it not been for what you accomplished on your first trip here, there would be no free men on Mongo. Ha! I had plenty of help, Roker. And I needed it. Well, I'll delay you long longer. Goodbye and a safe return. Thank you, Baron. Kingdom, we should land near the entrance of the abandoned drain tunnel. Our ship can be well concealed there. I remember the place. When the tunnel gates are opened, you will be able to get through to the power rooms. In the rays of that special test light inside the cabinet, sire, you will be able to see the death dust as it enters the chamber. The prisoners! Follow me to the tunnel entrance. This man of low intellect has the type of mind that is easily controlled by a superior will. And this man has a type of thinking brain that exercises a will of its own. A type we must destroy. Sire, there is no dictator in the universe powerful enough to destroy human thought. Place them in the dust chamber. Carrying out Captain Sudan's instructions, Count Koro and I will leave you here. Permit ourselves to be arrested by Ming's guards. Good luck. Your Majesty. You see, Your Majesty, the man of simple intellect is saved. A significant demonstration, don't you think, General Lupi? We will see now how well it works on a Phrygian nobleman. Mog, place him in the chamber. Probably some trouble in the prison ward, you sire. No. That alarm meant that someone had been captured. The prisoners were captured, forcing entrance into the palace, sir. They wear the uniforms of Phrygian soldiers. Phrygian soldiers, huh? Send them directly to me for questioning. Delay the demonstration. Come quickly. You may return to your posts. I'll question the prisoners in private. So far, so good, Captain Sudan. Prince Baron got your message. I would do anything for Prince Baron. This is Count Koro of Phrygia. A couple more minutes and I'm going to search for them. The others are at the mouth of the abandoned tunnel. I understand, Captain, that the gates barricading the tunnel are operated from this control room. Ronald got the Captain Sudan all right. Go ahead. Now, Captain, how can you aid us in liberating the Phrygian prisoner, General Lupi? Your Imperial Majesty. Two Phrygians, what are they doing here? I have been questioning them, sire. They came at the command of Queen Freya to attempt the rescue of General Lupi. Intelligent-looking specimens. Let us put the intelligence of all three to the test. My death dust will decide whether or not they are to live. Take these two prisoners to the pit room at once. Gosh, this passage leads to the power room. Kankara, Ronald. At least you're still alive. But not for long, my friends. Hey, Janda, I have brought you some new prisoners to experiment with. Ming's private laboratory. It is. I was right, Flash. The death dust is a development of the thing Ming was working on when I was here before. I must stay here and destroy this equipment. All right. 
We'll go on to the power rooms. This is the end. I'm sorry I was the cause of your capture and death. Mog, place them in the dust chamber. Turn on the death dust. Flash Gordon! You didn't think you'd get away with this, did you, Ming? Broker, disarm them. Throw their guns in that pit. Turn, go ahead. You got here just in time, Flash. Count Coro, you and General Rupi get back to the rocket ship right away. Turan, Turan, keep them covered. Where's the main power switch? Here it is. the glass chamber. I'll release the death dust and kill them all. Arkoff, you! You destroy my laboratory. Yes, your destruction of our people has gone far enough. Sire. I can see that. Don't send out a general alarm. Impossible, sir. The intercommunication system was destroyed in the explosion. Get to the broadcast room, send out word that Dr. Zarkoff and Flash Gordon are at liberty in Mongo, and that I am prepared to pay 100,000 Mingos the man who captures them alive. Zarkoff is clever. He struck directly at my laboratory in the energy pit, the source of the death dust. But he failed to completely destroy it, Your Majesty. Yeah, but the damage he did will delay my conquest. Why were the disguised as Fijians? No doubt Dr. Zarkov and Flash Gordon made a pact with Queen Freya. They to rescue General Lupi in return for the right to mine polarite in Phrygia. Polarite? What's that? Polarite is the only antidote to the death dust and can be found in only the far, barren northern waste of Phrygia. Flash Gordon and Zarkov must not escape. Flash and Zarkov have been trapped in the pit room. We've got to go back. They must have been killed or taken. We'll all be trapped if we wait longer. They risk their lives to get you away from Ming, General Lupi. We stay here until they come. Flash. Flash! We've got to move fast, men. Is everyone here? All but Ronald. He must have been taken and we can't wait for him. If Ronald's a prisoner, I'm going back. I saw him fall. Ronald! Flash, Flash, I've news that will beat Emperor Ming. The I've best heard... news is that you're here. Save the rest of it. We've got to get out of here. Flash Gordon have released General Lupi and attacked the power plants. They must be taken dead or alive. 
Zarkos, there's none other like it in the Empire. Spread the alarm. Warn all ships at once. The fugitives are to be taken alive. Alive, sire? Yes. I have my own way of destroying them. Attention all ships. Attention all ships. General orders from Dictator Ming. Ship attempting to leave Hong Kong. Zarkov and Flash Gordon are aboard. They must be taken alive. Lieutenant Sovereign, acknowledging Imperial orders. There's the Earth ship above us and three points to the north. ships. Zarkov rocket ship heading northeast on the third level. Patrol ship's coming. We're on astern. Follow them to the north. The guy gets around us. Again, Zarkov. Faster than we are, but I think we can lose them. may prove to be a surprise even to the captains of the merciless Ming. She's gone. Gone. She must be behind that cloud. We've got twice her speed. She can't escape us. There they go. We fool them. I just received a radio message from Dr. Zarkov. General Lupi has been rescued and will be here any moment. I told your majesty she could depend on Flash Gordon. A splendid soldier. I shall find means of rewarding him. Perhaps I can persuade him to return to Phrygia with me. With Flash Gordon at the head of my men, I might defy even the powerful Ming. But your majesty, Flash has an important commission for his own people. Has he? He's safe, Bora. He's come back safe. Welcome, General Lupi. I owe my life to your majesty. On the contrary, all of you owe your lives to this brave man. Thank you, Flash Gordon. If my country has anything to offer, you have but to command. Your majesty is very gracious, but I would have been helpless without the aid of my friends. Well done, all of you. Although I never landed there, Doctor, I know the region well from the air. We'll be able to locate the polarite without any difficulty. Because the energy it generates causes the snow to melt above the deposits. Of course, the clothes we wear will be treated with caloroid, which will afford complete protection from the cold. Ships are ready, Baron, whenever you are. Good. We'll start at once at Zarkov's rocket ship. The worker crew will follow in one of mine. I shall go with you, Flesh Gordon. After all, Phrygia is my kingdom. But Your Majesty's life is too valuable to be placed in this danger. But you are taking Dale Arden. Miss Arden is a chemist, a radio operator, and one of my most valuable assistants. She knows only too well the dangers we may meet. Your life belongs to your people, Your Majesty. I shall pray for your speedy return, my captain. Ming will know of this.
regarding Lieutenant Sovereign been carried out? Yes, Your Majesty. The Lieutenant has paid the penalty for failing to prevent the escape of the Zarkov ship. Then let his fate be a lesson to all of you. Zarkov's next move will be to land in Phrygia and attempt to secure Polarite. But Your Majesty, we know definitely that only those born in Phrygia can withstand and survive the death-dealing cold there. Ordinary humans. Dr. Zarkov and Flash Gordon are not ordinary humans. If they have determined to secure Polarite, you can rest assured that Dr. Zarkov has devised some means of combating the temperature. What are my orders, sire? You're to take a bomber and fly over North Phrygia. Cover the area where Polarite may be found. If Zarkov's expedition arrives, it must be destroyed in Zarkov and Flash Gordon taken prisoners. You take uh, Lieutenant Thong with you and tell him to remember the fate of Sovereign. First, Prince Varen. It is as I suspected. Right, it'll be most plentiful under that black peak over there. Take this polarometer. It will indicate your direction if you find yourself at fault. All right, Doctor. As soon as we locate the stuff, we'll radio you to send the miners. Right. I'm ready, Flash. sign of life down there. We've got to find them. Perhaps they made a landing beyond that range. Look, there's some of them down there in the snow. The tall figure leading is Flash Gordon. Making for that barren peak. You know the bomb in the rack? Yes, but it's a small target at this range. Try it. Why, it's one of Ming's ships. They're trying to bomb us! We missed them by a hundred yards. Drop the next one on that mountain of snow and ice at the edge of the ridge.
an avalanche that has carried Flash and the others to destruction. There's no hope for any of them. No, there isn't. We must blast Ming's men from the skies. the activities of Flash Gordon and his party. I may be able to get Dr. Zarkov on this radio. To whom do you hope to talk? I must inform Princess Aura of what has happened. Doctor, look. The Ming ship is returning. Have the ship ready to take off at once. Yes, sir. All the workmen in Baron's ship. Isn't that a ship taking the air? This is another one still on the ground. Looks like one of ours. They must have stolen it when they left Mongo. We'll destroy them both. Pilot, take care for that ship that just took the air. Head on, Zarkov. Oh, no, we're not. If I know our enemies, they'll give way. And when they do, fire on their gun ports. Yes. They mean to crash into us. Turn aside! Controls of that ship is a master. Our number two ray cannon has been disabled, sir. They're coming at us from the other side. Falling out of control. They've checked their descent. They're running away. Are you going after them, Doctor? No. We have a more important mission to perform. They're not following us. Just as well. With our radio and ray guns destroyed. You're returning to Mongo? Yes. You must report what's happened. Yeah. Take the control. Yes, sir. Fly low over the scene of the avalanche. Right, sir. chasm directly in the path of the avalanche. They may have fallen into it. It's not impossible. We have to land and explore it. I'll radio Baron's ship to bring them in. Yes, Flash. This is Zarkov. Dr. Zarkov? Dr. Zarkov. Hello. Where are you? At the bottom of a deep chasm, near the Polarite Peak. Are the others all right? Baron's hurt pretty badly, sir. But the cold is unbearable. Keep up your courage. 
We've landed our ship close to the chasm. I'll organize the rescue party immediately. That's fine, Dr. Zarkov. But hurry, we can't hold out much longer. See that the men are thoroughly insulated, for we shall encounter extreme cold. Dr. Zarkov is organizing a rescue party. They'll be here soon. You think they'll, they'll ever reach us? With Dr. Sarkov leading them? Sure they will. We shoot magnesium torches to everyone. Yes, sir. Do you think they're in that chasm we flew over, Doctor? If they're not, we'll never find them alive. I hear them. Listen, I do hear them. Take it easy, old boy. I hear them too. Zarkov! Dr. Zarkov! Dr. Zarkov! I'm sure I heard Flash's voice. Flash! Dr. Zarkov, down here! Told you! So I'm sure we located the Polarite deposit. I hope so. But much as we needed to combat the effects of Ming's attack upon the world, we cannot start a mine yet. Now why not, Zarkov? What is more important? Your health. I must first be sure that none of you will suffer from exposure. Oh, we're all in good shape, but Baron. That remains to be seen. I want you all to order your cabins and rest for 24 hours. I'll keep you under close observation. Yes, and in the meantime, that Ming ship you drove off will come back prepared to wipe us out. Well, we'll have to face that emergency when it arises. The ship has been badly damaged. What bothers me is the report we must make. Ming is merciless toward those who fail. We haven't failed. Flash Gordon has been destroyed. But Ming's orders were to take him alive. I will report it at once. Your Majesty, the ship from the Phrygian expedition has just landed. What is that report? There is none. The radio must have been disabled. Have the two officers in charge brought to me at once. destroyed the Zarkov expedition. But, but what? We were driven off by the other ship. No doubt the superior handling of the other ship defeated you. However, the fact that you crippled their expedition compensates some. Adjutant, see that His Majesty gets this message at once. Owing to your partial failure, there can be no reward for the capture of Flash Gordon and Zarkov. A message, sire, from Radio Officer Tekla. What is the nature of it? It reads, Sire, I have just intercepted a secret radio message on an ultra-low wave band. It was from Dr. Zarkov to somebody I could not identify, stating that his entire party is safe and will start mining Polarite at once. Sire, we saw Flash Gordon and his party go to destruction. Return to your radio. 
Learn with whom Dr. Zarkov is communicating. Yes, sir. You bungling fools. You were both to play an important part in my subjugation of the universe. If Zarkov obtains Polarite, then my death dust is useless. Polarite totally neutralizes its effects. There must be some mistake, sire. They were disguised as Phrygians, and we saw them. Enough! You know the fate of those who fail. Has Dr. Borgia reported yet about my annihilators? Yes, sire. The test was most successful. Uh, excellent, excellent. With my annihilators, my mechanical men, I'll conquer Phrygia who has dared to aid my enemies, who has defied me because it possessed Polarite in an unlivable climate. But, sire, they must be controlled by humans. They will be remotely controlled. I'll give you one more chance. My annihilators are walking bombs. You are to take them, return to Phrygia, and accomplish that which you previously failed to do. This time we shall not fail, sire. But the expedition must be destroyed, with two exceptions. Zarkov and Flash Gordon. As a prisoner, Zarkov will be of great use to me in my conquest of the universe. And he will destroy his friend, Flash Gordon. When shall we start, sir? Just as soon as you've been instructed in the use of my annihilators. We have mined enough pull right to begin my work of combating Ming's purple death. Let's get some of it to the ship. Okay, Doctor. From what I've learned, we can control the annihilators from the ship with that instrument. Certainly. We couldn't live exposed to the Phrygian atmosphere. Well, how do Flash Gordon and the Earth people manage it? Probably some invention of that genius Zarkov. No wonder Ming wants him alive. All right, boys, that's enough. Start loading up. Look, I can see them. They're mining at the base of that hill. Get the annihilators ready at once. Yeah. Pilot, man the ship behind that hill. Then they won't see us until the explosive iron men are marching against them. I hear the motor of a spaceship. I can't locate the direction. Well, perhaps it's Dr. Zarkov warming up ours. Doesn't sound like our motor. A big ship is just landing beyond that hill. Close to the polarite mine. The mean to attack us. The doctor, without your counter-free solution, they couldn't leave the ship and survive. Not unless they have some similar protection. Get as close to them as you can and find out what they're up to. Yes, sir. The annihilators are all in line and they work perfectly. I'll march them around the hill to the pit where Flash Gordon and his body are working. What are those awful creatures? They're not human, Dale. They're mechanical. Probably operated by someone we can't see. This ray gun ought to stop them. Why, they're invincible. Come on, fellas. We'll stop them. Come back, you fools. You can't fight them. They'll crush you. May as well show them they haven't got a chance. Oh. Oh. 
They're walking bombs. Operated by a remote control. Oh, they've got us trapped here. Iron men have attacked Flash and the others at the mine. Iron men? You mean robots? Mechanical men? They seem to be. Come on! Flash, I need our help! Back to the wall, quickly, everybody! You've got to, it's our only chance. Thing won't forgive another failure. I'll lie to forfeit if I don't. We allowed an escape from Ming when the Earthmen visited Mongo before. Ming will pay as much for Dale alive as he will for Zarkov. Careful, don't let the annihilator drop her. They've got Dale. Come back! You'll be blown to atoms! Explode the annihilator. Kill the girl? Oh. I've got a trick with two of that. Zarkov. This means a hundred thousand mingos to you and me. Flash! Flash! Where's Dale? Dale? I don't know. All I could see was Iron Men. There was an explosion that knocked me out. Well, by their tracks, they've gone in that direction. Flash is dead. Killed in the explosion. You and the good doctor are on your way to the palace of Ming the Merciless. He's always wanted both of you. Pilot, get underway. Better destroy Zarkov's ship first. No. It's too valuable to destroy. We have no pilot capable of flying it but myself. We'll return for it after we deliver our prisoners and collect our reward. Ronald, what happened? Where's Dale? The mechanical men got her. Zarkov and I tried to stop them and... They must have gotten Zarkov, too. It's Ming's ship. They're carrying off Dale and Zarkov. Let's go after them in our ship. No, I can't do it. You're not going to let them run off with Dale. Dr. Zarkov, Ming will kill him. Yes, I know all that. And I love Dale and Zarkov more than anyone can know. But there are only two lives. While on Earth, millions of people are facing death in the path of the Purple Plague, unless Ming is stopped. Now, I've got to take Polaroid to the Earth first. Then I'll come back and settle with Ming. While the Purple Death still rages, there has been a marked abatement in the number of deaths. We believe this may be due to the activities of Professor Zarkov and my son Flash Gordon on the planet Mongo. Further news will be broadcast to you the moment it is received. We again beg you to remain calm in this crisis. There was no need to raise the hopes of the people without some scrap of proof. You have no foundation for your surmise that the drop in the death rate is due to anything but natural causes. What of it if it keeps up the morale of the crowd? Besides, the last word we heard from Flash was that they mean to put a stop to the Purple Death. 
And when Zarkov and Flash undertake a thing, I don't have to... Yes? Your son Flash is calling on the radio. Come quickly. Flash! Hello, Dad. Yes, we found large deposits of polarite in the kingdom of Phrygia, far north of Mongo. As you know, polarite particles attract and neutralize the death dust in the same manner that the human brain reacts upon it. We now have enough polarite to destroy all the death dust that Ming can turn loose. So, you wanted proof, did you, you old crab? Well, there you have it. Polarite. Loads of it. The salvation of the world. I'm going to drop the polarite at the top of Mount McKinley. You will attract all the death dust to that particular spot and destroy it. Ready, Roka. Getting close in. It's a splendid achievement, son. The world will be waiting to give you and Professor Zarkov the finest welcome in the history of mankind. No, Dad, I'm not coming back. Zarkov's not with me. No, he and Dale were taken prisoners by Ming. I don't know what's happened to them. Dale, my daughter, at the mercy of Ming. Polarite's unloaded. Good. Now we'll start back after Ming. Prisoners will come closer. Welcome back to Mongo, Dr. Zarkov and Pretty Dale. It is too bad that our friend Flash Gordon is not with us. I understand that he met with an unfortunate accident. And now that you're here, Doctor, you'll tell me the formula that enabled you to land in the frozen land of Phrygia. You're wasting your breath, Ming. It matters not how you torture me, you'll never learn that secret. I have an easier way of learning, Doctor. Captain Torch. Sir. You will return to Phrygia and bring back Dr. Zarkov's rocket ship. The apparatus he used to combat cold is aboard it. It shall be done, sir. You have a short time, Doctor, to decide whether or not you will help me in my conquest of the universe or meet such an amusing death which I may devise. I have told you. Don't answer now, think it over. Ah, my dear, you're lovely. More beautiful than ever. Having deprived you of your sweetheart, it is only fair that I should take his place. Take them away and have the girl dressed in garments befitting the wife of an emperor. Flying over for Gia. You're going to have a job getting into that rocket ship before you freeze to death. Look. The very ship we're looking for. Some of them must have survived. We've got to shoot them down. Spaceship diving at us. Fly over him. I'll slow him down. No. We'll need that ship to get at Ming. I'm going to spin her down. Turn on a smoke screen so he'll think we're hit. Leave the smoke screen. 
screen on. Seem to be damaged much. How do they know? Flash court. A lie. Broker, disarm them. Tie them up. What are you going to do? Take your ship into Ming's palace. Then you're going to give the password that opens the gates to the space court. Ship coming in for a landing, sir. Welcome, Captain Torch. down here on us. be interested in your actions also. He values this Earth girl. Well, we're going to be friends, aren't we? I hope so. I'm a prisoner, too, from Arborea. Do you think you could help me find some other clothes? I have those that I wore when they captured me. Could I have them? Yes, and I think they'll fit you, too. I am prepared to offer you your life on certain conditions. And the conditions are? I have a great respect for your scientific knowledge and ability. If you will devote them to my service, you may live. But as a prisoner? Is not that preferable to death? Yes, if my service will benefit humanity. You will go to my laboratories. There you will meet great scientists from other planets. And you will all work for my conquest of the universe. like you, but I will devote all my energy to breaking Ming's evil power. You must help me. I will. You must know many of the secrets of this place. 
Together we might undo this man who would be dictator of the universe. Yes, I do know many things. This will make a good disguise. Yes, I was counting on that. Oh, radio phone, huh? May come in handy. Now let's hide those guards and try and find Dale. I beg your pardon. Where is the Earth girl locked up? Why do you ask? We're of the Arctic Guard. We've been sent to question her about the possible whereabouts of her companions. I've been sent to transfer her to other quarters. You may come with me. Thank you, sir. I've come to take you to another room. But first, this guard will question you. Have you any idea where your companions are hiding? No, no, I haven't. Did they receive any information regarding the palace that you know of? No. in order for your release. Now for a place to hide him. Hide him in there. What about her? Well, she's a prisoner also. You won't give an alarm, will you? No, I won't. Good girl. Now we'd better lock you up too so you can clear yourself. Yes, you must do that. Good. Now, if we can help Zarkov. She is to be taken into Dr. Zarkov. I wish to question each in the other's presence. It does not say she should be admitted to the laboratory. Nor does it say she shall not be. It is in order for her to be moved. Where is a matter for my discretion? bring you here. You'll have to ask my escort. Flash! How did you do it? It's a long story, Zarkov. What about him? He's a friend. And will become an ally. But tell me about the Polarite. I landed our shipload on Earth. Thank Providence for that. Now, come on, let's get out of here. No. You're not going? No. We could only hide in the caverns. I can do far more here to assure our eventual departure. With the aid of calm here, I hope to be able to counteract some of Ming's defensive mechanism. That will lay him open to attack and aid our cause. Well, if you're determined to stay, we can keep in contact with this radio phone. Yeah, I'll ascertain its wavelength. There, Flash. I've set it in a very low wavelength. And I'm making another radio like it. Good. Then we can keep in touch. What's this girl doing here? Orders from Ming, sire. Orders from Ming? Guard, arrest this man. This will bring me a promotion. Hold him here till I get Captain Torch. He's Flash Gordon, our most dangerous enemy. If he's so dangerous, I'll shoot him down right now. No. We must let Captain Torch take him to Ming alive. Hold him here. I'll hold him. Nice work, Roker. We must hurry and get out of here. All right, we'll go down to the cabin and keep in touch with you. Flash Gordon? You know I do. Where are they? I'm sure I don't know. He's lying. They were both here. Where's the guard I left? He went out. There's evidently a conspiracy here. I shall report this matter to the Emperor Ming. So you let Flash Gordon escape you again? Fong reported he was in the laboratory, sire. But when I got there... Silence! 
inform all guards the reward for the capture of Dale Arden alive is doubled. Fleish Gordon must be taken too, but not necessarily alive. It shall be done, sir. It had better be. Your life is forfeit if these guards fail again. Sided Ming's stronghold by now. No, we are following an indirect course to avoid observation. There, that should do it. I've set it on Flash's wavelength. Now I'll try to get him. Hello, hello, Flash. Hello, Dr. Zarkov. Yes, sir, this is Flash. Hello, Flash. Are you all safe? Fine, sir, and you? We're all right. I have learned a lot from my friend Khan. We're going to try and locate that Ming spaceship we came in. Wait a minute. You heard what he said? Why do you think it was planned? Too dangerous. The space course are too well guarded. They must wait until we've mastered the protective mechanism. Hello, hello, Flash. The Khan said you must wait until we can aid you from here. But Dr. Zarkov, we're not going without you. You must, Flash. Khan and I are working on a plan to destroy Ming's stronghold, even if it means our own death. But Dale and I want to help, sir. We are perfectly willing to stay here and hide until you can come with us. Zarkov, Zarkov, what was that noise? It's a signal that enemy ships have been sighted. It's an alarm signal. Stand by. Hello, hello, Flash. It's a fleet of Baron ships coming this way. Oh, good old Baron. I knew he wouldn't fail. Tell them that now is their chance. All defense mechanisms of the space courts will be switched off as the guards are being reinforced. Hello, Flash. Go to the space court and find the main ship you came in. But, Dr. Zarkov, I tell you, we're not going without you. You go with them. No need for both of us to stay. We can communicate by radio phone. But how can I get out of here? Long ago, I prepared a disguise for my own escape. You may have it. Hello, hello, Flash. I'll meet you at the space court. Good. He's coming with us. Hurry. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. I'm sorry. What makes you think Flash Gordon may try to escape in this ship? He came here, huh? And he'll figure it's his best chance to escape. I hope he does. That your fire chemical works. It will. And that'll be the end of Flash Gordon. ships are to leave ground without special orders. That's what you think.
sail. Keep the ship directly above Rokas. Knock off. When I get down to the other ship, cast off and circle under me. All right. Ships approaching. I hope Baron is one of them. The main ship immediately a beam. Close with it destroy it. We'll attack from this side. Ship number five, acknowledging general order from French Baron. Don't forget this is the main ship. Better try to get him on the radio before he attacks us. Hurry. Hello. Hello, Prince Baron? Prince Baron. The radio is dead. Position noted and approved. Use your destructor ray. We're heading in at once. Baron is closing in. Zarkov, we've got to signal him somehow. He'll shoot us down. They're spreading out. To trap us between them. Open on them. That and we're finished. I have an idea. What are you trying to do? Sending him a dot and dash code. Baron and I worked it out together. Uh, slim chance. Yes, but our only one. Well, they still won't surrender. Reload. Wait, wait. Hold that fire. It's a code. This is Flash Gordon and Dr. Zarkov. Cease firing. Prepare the magnetic grapple for transfer. I'll answer with the rocket exhaust. Flash! Flash, you've done it! They're answering! Baron's in that ship, all right. Breathing now. We do speed. They're going to grapple and transfer us. You're right, Flash. They're coming about! Stand 
by the transfer port. Zakoff, turn on the power for the load coil so we'll draw together. I'll stand by the emergency hatch. Let you know when we're in line, Rover. Why didn't you radio me when we first attacked you? I radio without a commission. You did the natural thing. Oh, I'm gonna kill you all. Prince, I've learned from calm that Ming is preparing another terrible weapon to destroy the world. We must return at once to your palace and prepare to combat it. Cash off the Ming ships! It's taken you a long time to fashion six zoltronilium projectiles. All work had to be done in complete vacuum, sire. The smallest amount of oxygen touching that metal would have ignited it and burned us alive. Your Majesty means to attack the Earth at once? No, we will first test the projectiles on Prince Baron's kingdom of Aboria. Aboria, sire? The Aborian forest are the source of all the fine timber in Mongo. One projectile yes, dropped yes, there. Yes, 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 I understand, I understand. The projectile will only be dropped in the barren sections of Aboria. The prince will have warning to watch their effect and contemplate what will happen in case I direct them against his palace. You'll pardon, sire, but surely you don't mean to destroy Aboria. Why, the princess Aura, your daughter, is there and... My erring daughter deserves no consideration. However, I suppose she must be removed. You're keeping secret communication with my daughter's attendant, Lady Sonia? Yes, sire, by means of the birds. Good. I'll give you a message for her. I hope your highness will pardon the delay. Of course. But for you, Sonia, neither Prince Baron nor myself would have realized the dire needs of some of our tenants. Everything is in readiness, your highness. Whom are we to call on today, Sonia? If it please your highness, a poor family of woodcutters. They live in the Red Forest. Then it's off to the Red Forest we go. Return safely with our guests. Her Highness went to the Red Forest some hours ago to visit a poor tenant in distress. Lady Sonia and Captain Turin accompanied her. Very well. Let me know the moment you return. Yes, Your Highness. Kiddish, my head scientist. His knowledge is fairly extensive in the field of rare metals. Is there something I can do to aid Your Highness? Yes, Kiddish. Ming is threatening the planet Earth with a new weapon. The Earth people here are anxious to uncover all they can concerning it. Well, I have other matters to attend to, so I'll leave you here. Thank you, Baron. Tell me, sir, what do you know of zotronilium? Zotronilium, sometimes called the fire metal. Traces of it have been found with the spectroscope on some of the dead suns of the polar galaxy. Tell me, uh, what are some of its outstanding reactions? When exposed to oxygen, this metal burns with the heat of the sun. 
Do you know of any way of extinguishing the fire once the metal starts burning? Nothing will put it out. But you have no cause for alarm. There's no zotronilium to be found on Mongo. You're wrong. Ming possesses a formula for making unlimited quantities of it. And he plans to fire huge projectiles of it into the Earth. The planet Earth would be burned to ashes. Not only that, but enough of it would burn all the oxygen out of the atmosphere. There must be some defense against it. We know of none. Then we must find one. Assemble all the thermoelectronic apparatus you have. We must prepare at once for an exhaustive experimentation. I wonder if we should have come, Sonia. You know, Prince Baron and his friends are on a dangerous mission. I think I should have stayed at the castle. <laughs> Your Highness becomes too domesticated. If men will go and fight, there's no reason why we should mope at home. demonstration of the means at my command to punish your allegiance to my enemies, the Earthmen. When you see your wastelands burn, think what will happen to your castle and your forests. He means to use zotronillium, the fire metal against Arborea. How long before you can complete your defense, Doctor? Well, thanks to the years spent by Professor Carm in developing his contra-thermal defense theory, I can complete the machine to dispense it in a day, perhaps two. At least two. There'll be enough time, Doctor. I know my crafty father-in-law. He's bluffing. He wouldn't dare attack our boy while his daughter is here. Prince Baron, your highness. The Princess Aura has just been abducted by soldiers of Ming. The lady Sonia led us into an ambush. I did what I could. Uh, my position at once. Go ahead with the cuts, thermal machine, Doctor. Don't worry, Baron. We'll help you and Aura out of this mess somehow. I demand to know why I am being held prisoner. When you and your husband, Prince Baron, chose to ally yourself with the Earthmen, you became my enemies and must take the consequences. You dare to tamper with my attendants, to send this slinking cat Sonia to worm her way into my confidence, and you, Captain Torch, you bloody-handed murderer, to lay hands upon royalty? Mark my words, you two shall pay for this when Prince Baron and Clash Gordon... Yes, I'll go. Sir, we have intercepted a radio message from Prince Baron to his patrol ships. Yes? All patrol ships. The Emperor Ming is about to attempt destruction of Arborea by means of fiery projectiles. Dr. Zorkov has devised means of counteracting this murderous attack. Inform me at once location of any of these projectiles and steps will be taken to extinguish fire. Signed, Baron. There's the answer to your threats. The Earth men have beaten you once. They'll beat you again. Take her to the women's quarters. Sonia, Torch. Sire. Your Majesty. You have done well and will be rewarded. But I have another task for you. We're ready, sir. Whatever means Zarkov has of extinguishing our projectiles must be carried to the spot of conflagration. Information as to location must come from Baron's laboratory. Now you are to proceed at once to Arborea, destroy Prince Baron's radio station, thus preventing these messages from being sent. It shall be done, sir. Now listen, Flash, and get this clear. For all our lives may depend upon it. You know I've got us to hear and direct you where the projectiles fall. Go ahead, Doctor. By turning this dial, you will envelop your ship with contra-thermal wave that will protect you from the extreme heat. I see. One of these units must be placed by you close to Ming's projectile when it falls. 
Dale understands how to protect you while you accomplish this. Ronald will run the ship. Thank you, sir. We'll go and get ready, Doctor. All right, men. Get these instruments down to the ship. Gordon calling Prince Baron. It's probable Ming is aware of what we're doing and will attempt to prevent us sending word to Flash. I have anticipated that, Your Highness. Patrol ships are in the vicinity and will attack any Ming ship that approaches. Flash Gordon calling Prince Baron. Flash Gordon calling Prince Baron. Yes, Flash? We're over the cauldron wastelands, Baron. Ready for action. No sign of enemy activity. Maintain your present circuit. Dr. Zarkov will give you the exact information the moment the projectile strikes. Good. We'll be ready. Prepare the first projectile. Projectile is ready to be fired, Your Majesty. Has the range been calculated? Yes, sir. The dial readings are 16, 44, 336. We'll alter the range every 20 minutes. Determination to conquer the universe. of death. There. One has already struck. Locate the exact point where it fell. I'll get flash. Yes, Doctor, we saw it and fell it past. I got it. 30 miles due west from here. First projectile, 30 miles due west from here. Change your course accordingly. Yes, sir. I'll get the fire suit. live in this heat. After all, this wasteland's of no value. Unless that blaze extinguished, it'll burn up all the oxygen in the air. Stifle thousands of people, Ronald. I must go. I know you can do it, Flash. Good girl.
Calling Prince Baron's palace. Calling Prince Baron's palace. Flash Gordon. Dr. Zarkov answering Flash Gordon. Hello, Zarkov. Your contrathermal is a success, sir. We've extinguished the projectile. Let us know where any more of the projectiles fall. It works perfectly. We still have two more units. That's splendid, Flash. Two more projectiles have fallen. The locations are two. The connection's gone. Zarkov! Your Highness. A Ming bomber is over the ballast. The crows will take care of it. They've been warned. I'll have this repaired in a moment, Your Highness, if that bomber doesn't score another bullseye. You made a direct hit, though, close to the wall of the laboratory. I can see the flash when the bomb struck. There's one of Baron's ships coming. Two more coming in from above. Surroundings. Zarkov speaking. Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead, Doctor. One of Ming ships have bombed us. The patrols have driven it off. Good. Now tell us where those projectiles have fallen. One of the projectiles fell about 30 miles west of... I want to make it look like a crash so they won't follow us down. A clear hit, Brad. The last shot finished them. Calling Prince Baron's castle. Calling Prince Baron's castle. Enemy ship met and destroyed. That is all. Get our location. Captain Torch calling up from Ming. Captain Torch calling up from Ming. This is the palace of the Emperor. This is Captain Torch speaking from Arborea. This is of vital importance. Wait, Captain Torch. Inform His Majesty that Captain Torch is calling from Arborea. My plan is failing. Projectiles are being extinguished as soon as they strike. Your Majesty must remember that Dr. Zarko is a Prince Baron. The doctor is a clever man. He may have discovered some means of defense against the counteracting forces known only to myself. A new cause. You knew and you were alone in my laboratory with Dr. Zarkov before he escaped. If you have dared betrayed any of my secrets to him, I'll... Captain Torch is calling from Arborea, Your Majesty. Get a warrior. Yes, sir. Yes, Your Majesty. We found Prince Baron's power plant. We were attacked and forced to land. You have failed. Sarkov is extinguishing our projectiles as fast as they land. But Your Majesty, we dropped the bombs direct. Get into Prince Baron's castle by any way that you can devise. Learn what the plans are and report to me. The lives of all of you are staked upon this venture. There's no need of all of us going. The ship has to be repaired before we can make our escape. That's right. I can repair the damage while you go to the castle. So, Zarkov learned all my secrets from you. You traitor. Why shouldn't I be a traitor to you? After the way you've treated my people, lock him up. I have decided the manner in which he is to die. Take him away. She is there. He'll know you. 
horse, but I can hold his attention for a moment. All right. Keep his back to me. It's necessary that I have audience with Prince Baron at once. I will explain everything to His Highness. Let me... You'll go as my prisoner? Yes, the Prince will see you. If I'm not mistaken, he'll have you hanged from the highest turret for the abduction of Princess Aura. Spaceships. General order number 83. General order number 83. Watch that door. Calling Emperor Ming. Calling the palace of Emperor Ming. This is Captain Tor speaking. I've got momentary control of Baron's radio room. What are your orders, sire? I will send gas bombers to attack Baron's palace at once. See if you can call in Baron's patrol ships, so there will be no warning of the attack. It shall be done, sire. Watch that door closely while I call in Baron's patrols. Calling all patrols. These are general orders from Prince Baron. Ship number five, acknowledging general order from Prince Baron. We're heading in at once. How long will it take Ming's fleet to get here? Not long. If I can clear the patrols out of their way. This little job will prevent anyone from rescinding the order to call in the patrols. Gordon, I'll pull the trigger. Move, quick! Don't let him get away, Flash. He's calling the patrols. The Ming's about to attack. Sound the alarm, quickly! Broker, stand back. Stairs. You won't have a chance. Torch can blast you from there. Never mind. Follow him, but don't crowd them. He'll kill Dale. I'll head them off from the outside. Ships. 
They're dropping gas bombs. Get out on the roof. Maybe we can signal them. said this would revive them. They look dead to me. The gas control valves. All open, Your Highness. The castle will be cleared of gas in just a few moments. The radio. Communications have been restored. I'll contact the patrols in a moment. Number five, acknowledging general order from Prince Baron. Baron's patrol is attacking. One of our ships is down already. We'll make for the palace with our prisoners. Hope we could rescue Torch. Ming would rather lose a dozen ships than his captain. Torch was captured by Flash Gordon. But the Emperor will be compensated when he learns that we've brought Dale Arden back to him. Will they die and fall into Ming's hands again? Another one of our ships is down. Force be ahead to the palace. The enemy has beaten your highness. Two of the ships shot down and the others driven off. Never mind that. Are there no reports on Flash and Dale? The search of the castle and grounds is continuing. Fly. Thank heavens you're safe. Dale and Ronald are gone. Have you seen them? Torch here had Dale prisoner when I grabbed him. 
if anything has happened to her? You better not, Gordon. One of Ming's ships landed while we were in the moat. If Ming has her, you might need me as hostage. Rocker, lock him up. Operator, see if you can contact the palace. Wait a moment. If he is dead and Ronald prisoner, perhaps he'll make the first move. Welcome, Thong and Lady Sonia. I understand you bring us prisoners of importance. Thank you, Your Majesty. Dale Arden and Captain Ronald have been confined in separate apartments and await Your Majesty's pleasure. Please leave us now. I have things to say to these two alone. Ill-served, it seems. Sire. Two of my best ships and crews destroyed. Captain Torch, my ablest soldier and counselor, you have left in the hands of my enemies. Your Majesty has many ships and soldiers, but there's only one Dale Arden. No doubt Prince Baron would be glad to exchange Captain Torch for her. What do you mean? Your captain or your bride, sire. Bring Dale Arden to me at once. No trace of any of them. But we verified the report that one of Ming's ships did actually land at the castle during the gas raid. That settles it. I'm going after Ming. I'll go with you. Will your highness caution our guards to watch the prisoner torch very closely? The Empress Palace calling. Emperor Ming will speak to his servant, Prince Baron, over the televisor. <laughs> Prince Baron will speak to Ming, the tyrant. Uh, Baron, I see you have your allies with you. That makes it simpler. One of my ships just brought in a couple of prisoners, Dale Arden and a Captain Ronald. Let me talk to him. Listen, Ming. If you harm Dale Arden, I'll come there and kill you with my bare hands. I am not interested or disturbed by the ravings of a madman. Dale has not been harmed. She will tell you so herself. Step here, my child. Blanche. Get me out of here. Get me out. Dale. Dale, listen to me. Don't be afraid. We'll get you out somehow. And now, if I may speak to Dr. Zarkov, I may exchange this young lady for my Captain Torch. And what terms do you propose to make, Ming? in exchange, or better than that, I'll toss in Captain Ronald, who is of no importance to me. It's a trick. He'll lay a trap for us. And how do you propose to make the exchange? As your friend Flash is suspicious, I will agree to any arrangements you make. But you must decide now. I'll not renew the offer. Oh, agree, Doctor. Flash, get me out of here. Get me help. He can't trick us if we arrange the terms. In any event, we have no choice. All right, all right, make a deal, make a deal. We will make the exchange on the following terms. Flash Gordon and I will bring Captain Torch. Prepare a ship for at once. Shall be done, sir. Sanja, be sure Dale has refreshments prepared for her before she leaves. Goodbye, my dear. I am sure we will meet again. They're coming. Well, cut me loose. We we'll let you go and we're sure Dale and Ronald are safe.
satisfied? Yes. Your friend Thong will untie you. A message from the Emperor to Dr. Zarkov. Start walking. Oh, Flash. Flash, I'm so... Quick, inside. What is it? Zarkov, quickly! She's been drugged. Ming, that devil. Wait. I was given this for you, Doctor, as I left the ship. Zarkov, you have no antidote that will revive Dale. Our only chance to live is that you alone bring her to me at once. Delay will be fatal. Think he's telling the truth? Yes, Flash. She's dying. I must take her back to Mings. I'll drop you in Ronald Barron's before I go. to me. After she's revived, I'll see what can be done about contriving an escape. All right, Doc. Bye, Doc. and bring Dale here, Zarkov. Only I could have awakened her from the death sleep into which I had cast her. I am taking you to my daughter, Princess Ora. And as for you, Zarkov, any attempt to escape will result disastrously both for you and Dale. It's all right, Dale. We're to be the guests of the Emperor for a short time. Come, my dear. discovered that he was conspiring with Prince Baron. And you? Are you suspected? The lives of all of us are in constant danger. But so far, suspicion hasn't rested on me. You and I must contrive some means to free the prisoners and make the revolt against Ming a success. Kong learned much of the secret of Ming's power before he died. That secret is now mine. Come, I'll show you. Dale! Ora, I can't say I'm happy to see you. Are Flash and Baron prisoners too? No, just Dr. Zarkov and I. But Flash will come and save us, I'm yeah. sure. Very, very pretty, my dear, and very optimistic. No one is going to save you. Even rescuers could get into the palace. They could not enter this room and live. You have failed to stop Flash Gordon before, Father. Yes, but I'll not fail this time, my dear. You have corrupted my guards, so I placed you in this room with an incorruptible guard. That rug will be charged with 4,000 volts of electricity the moment that I go through that door. I had it placed there to guard my own life against treachery while I slept. And now it is to be used to prevent the escape of my prospective bride. If you touch that rug after I leave this room, you will be instantly killed. Remember, I have warned you.
I don't believe him. It's another one of his crafty tricks. Why, Dale, I've stepped on that rug a hundred times and... Stop, Aura. I don't think he was bluffing. Wait a minute. to the deserted tunnel will be guarded? No. Captain Suden's the heart of the conspiracy to overthrow me. He know we'll attempt to do something. I'm sure he'll do everything he can to make our entrance possible. Has the sentry post been doubled as I instructed? Yes, sire. Good. What about the entrance of the deserted tunnel north of the castle? Why, we have always considered that entrance through the old tombs were impossible, sire. It is not of any importance what you considered. We have Flash Gordon to deal with. We have guards to go to that tunnel. Men that you can depend upon. Flash, we're right near the tunnel entrance. I hope Captain Suden has been able to leave it unguarded. Have you received instructions about preparing the Earth Girl for her wedding, Lady Sonia? Yes, sire. Is it your majesty's wish that I go to her tonight? No. Tomorrow will be time enough. Finished me. Sorry, Crow, but our mission's a desperate one. What about your companion here? He's one of us. Suden places her to help you if he came. If you can, get us into the tunnel. Tell us where the Princess and Dale Arden are locked up. They're in Ming's private sanctum, the North Room. I can guide you there. No, you've taken risk enough. I know the way. Let's have a uniform so we look as if we had an official escort if we meet anyone. All right, Your Highness. Inside, quickly. This leads to the corridors of the North Wing. Crow had no key for it. Majesty, Captain Torch reports that Flash Gordon and his comrades have rescued Dale Arden and Princess Aura and have fled with them. They can't go far. Summon the guard and search for them. 
Watch the laboratory. They may attempt to release Dr. Zarkov also. These prisoners are to be admitted and held in here. This is not a prison. This is an order. Are you going to obey? Yes, by placing you under arrest. <laughs> down that door. And by that time, I shall have a better and more effective defense. We'll hide these guards somewhere and take their uniforms. Remain here on guard. I must report this to His Majesty. Tom, whom you knew, Baron, had been a prisoner here for years finally discovered the source of the terrific power Ming controls. Calm confided the secret to you? Yes, the drug here. The power is derived from a strong beam of light, reflected from pure thelenium, a new element, which gives the light great properties and permits it to be transformed into other forms of energy. Where does the light come from? Where all light and power originate, the sun. And it is this thelenium that energizes the purple death dust, the great fire projectile and all of Ming's weapons of death and destruction. Sire, the Earth Party with Baron and Aura have barricaded themselves in the laboratory. Surround the laboratory, but do not attack without an order from me. But, Sire, with our numbers, we can attack and conquer them. You, you! Don't you realize that with Dr. Zarkov in possession of my laboratory, he is more powerful than I am in my own kingdom? Dr. Zarkov is clever. No doubt. He has learned from Karm the secret of my sun power. And if we attack, he'll destroy us. No. He must be tricked into coming out. And I'll find the way. If we can control Ming's powerhouse, we can handle him. We can destroy him and his palace, but that would mean our death as well. It'd be worth it. If we could save the universe by doing so. have you surrounded, Tarkov, and they will attack if you do not surrender immediately. You don't dare attack. And why not? Because I control the source of your power and can destroy you with it. You would not dare. I would not hesitate. Our mission is not only to save the world, but the universe as well. The universe? I am the universe. I'll give you just one hour to surrender. I have another source of power that you know nothing of. Do you believe him? I don't wholly doubt him. But don't you think he's stalling for time? No. But our only safety at present is to remain here. Then why can't Baron send for some of his ships? We can keep Ming from attacking them with you in control here, can't we? Flash is right. Yes. Through Captain Sudan, I can arrange an attack. But only as a last resort. For as you know, Ming is cunning and treacherous. We must learn what he's up to. Perhaps you, too, in your disguise, might learn his plans. Yes, but Zarkov, how can we get out of here? Karma showed me a secret passage that leads to the caverns. That even Ming doesn't know of. I'm willing. What about you, Roker? I'll go with you. You hold the fort here. We'll get as close as we can to Ming and find out what he's up to. Right. What are you palace guards doing down here? Searching the cavern, sir. Captain Sudan's orders. Did you see anybody in there? No, sir. All palace guards must remain on duty near the throne room. These men will relieve you. Come. Hello? 
Now, no wonder to enter or your lives are forfeit. Yes, sir. Broker, you keep me covered. I'm relieving you. Go to the laboratory at once. They need help there. What we must do is to find a way to trick Dr. Zarkov and his party into leaving the laboratory. Have you, rocket ship Zio, loaded to my new Solarite? Yes, sir. It's ready in the space court for the attack on the principal cities of the Earth. I think it would be smarter to forget the Earth until we have rid ourselves of the Earth people now on Mongo. We can use the Solarite ship as a threat to trap them. Check the Solarite ship again and make sure it's ready to depart at a moment's notice. I will, sir. In the meantime, I'll communicate with Dr. Zarkov again. Now, if I may speak to Dr. Zarkov, my rocket ship is loaded with enough solarite to destroy the principal cities of the Earth on contact. It is in my space court now. We will send it if you do not surrender at once. I doubt very much that one ship can do so much damage. I have enough ships and solarite to destroy your entire Earth. If you knew the power of it, you would not hesitate to meet my terms. This is a serious matter. I must consult my associates. Very well. I'll give you five minutes. Kind of you. Don't you believe in Zarkov? He's going to double cross us. You mean he has no such ship as the rocket ship Zio? He has, he has, but he's going to send it against the Earth whether we surrender or not. I doubt very much if he has the powerful explosive solarite he speaks of. Ming scientists have for years been searching for an explosive powerful enough to destroy the Earth. I believe they have found it. And there's only one way out. And that is? Take Ming Zio's ship and destroy him with it. But it all depends on whether you can control the defensive mechanism of the space court here. It can be done. But where will we be when you destroy Ming? In Zarkov's rocket ship. I'll take off in the Solarite ship and head back toward the palace, then bail out. You ought to be able to pick me up. Then you'd better let me go with you. No use two of us sacrificing ourselves. Zarkov doesn't answer our signal, sir. I'll stay here and control the death rays that guard the entrance to the space court. It means your death? Ming killed my spirit when he destroyed my people. For years, I've been waiting for this chance to avenge them. I understand. Notify Captain Sudan to open the tunnel gates for us. I will. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. We'll never forget you, Professor. I fear the Earth people are up to something we know nothing of. I'll warm up the motor so we'll be ready to leave the moment Dr. Zarkov arrives. Right aboard. Are you sure? Yes. Main call it a Zio ship. You cannot enter the space court until I have signaled Dorf to turn off the death ray. Look! That was caused by the death ray operated by Drunk. Hello. Yes. Turn off the death ray on number seven. They are off. He says the death rays are turned off on number seven. All clear, Flash. I'll circle with the Zio ship until you take off and join me. Right. We'll keep in touch by radio. Good. I hope there's a parachute aboard. I'm sure there is. It's essential part of the equipment. Well, good luck, Flash. Thanks.
Yes, I'll report it. Your Majesty, Flash Gordon has just entered the space court and taken off your solarite ship. Why didn't my guards stop him? The guards cannot enter the space court. The death ray has been turned on. Uh, it's the work of that clever fiend, Zarkov. He's at the controls in the laboratory. Dr. Zarkov. Solarite ship. Gordon will not destroy his friends. Captain Torch speaking. Yes? Yes? I'll report. Sire, Dr. Zarkov and the rest of the Earth people, including Prince Baron and Princess Aura, have escaped through the tunnel. They've taken off in their rocket ship. And Gordon will use the Solarite ship to destroy me. We must leave at once for the tower, use the auxiliary controls from there. Or the Captain Sudan that have them turned on. We'll find him in the guard room. Captain Torch calling Captain Sudan. I can't get Captain Sudan, sire. You must. Our lives depend on it. Keep trying. Captain Torch, calling Captain Sudden. Sudden, connect the controls in the tower room at once. I never thought it would ever be in my power to save Ming the Merciless or to destroy him. Then you will not connect the controls? No. Calling Captain Sudden in the guard control room. Hello? Is this Drolk? Yes, this is Drolk. Listen. Can you contact Zarkov? Yes, I can, Captain Sudan. Good. Tell him that Ming has gone to the tower control room. All right, I will. Drolk calling Dr. Zarkov. Calling Dr. Zarkov. Listen carefully. Ming has taken refuge in his tower control room. Tell Flash Gordon to head his solarite ship directly at the tower. I'll tell him. And that means you'll be saved, Drunk. I know that. But it also means that we can place Prince Baron on the throne of Mongo. Now we can save others who should not suffer from Ming's misdeeds. Flash. Flash. Go ahead, Zakov. Ming has gone to his tower control room. You know where it is? Yes. I'll head toward there instead of the palace. Good. Let us know when you're ready. Don't worry. I will. Captain Sudan doesn't answer, sire. We're doomed. Send a messenger to him. Uh, there's no time for that. Our only chance is that Captain Sudan will connect the controls. Then we can explode the solarite ship while it's in the air. Captain Sudan, your emperor demands that you connect the controls in the tower room immediately. Flash bail out. He's close enough now. Not yet. He can't afford to miss. You've locked Ming and his retinue in the tower. Yes. And there's only one other way of escape for them. But they will be too terrified to think of it. Be done as low as possible. Ship will hit the tower. I'm sure it will. 
Watch the fireworks. Save the universe. In his mad ambition, Ming declared that he was the universe. Then, since you have conquered Ming, I shall ready you your father. Flash Gordon conquers the universe. And saves the Earth. What's our course now, Flash? Straight for Aboria. And back home. <laughs> Thank you.